Welcome to the third week of North American Soccer League spring season action. Highlighted by Minnesota United FC, going to the top of the table, the end of an unbeaten streak for the New York Cosmos, and the first victory in Ottawa Fury FC club history. Minnesota United, who opened the season with two road victories, was met with a loud and raucous home crowd at NSC Stadium, and the team didn't disappoint. FC Edmonton took to the attack early, but Minnesota United withstood the onslaught. Minnesota United slowly took control and scored the only goal of the game on a PK, following a handball in the box. Simone Bracalello calmly slotted the ball into the left corner of the goal. And he slots it away. With confidence driven, low ball just inside that post. Just minutes into the game at Hofstra University, the Cosmos set a modern era NASL record of 372 shutout minutes, dating back to a 2-1 win over San Antonio on October 26, 2013. And it was San Antonio again that bookended the record with a great run by Danny Barrera, a save from New York keeper Jimmy Marrer, and a headed finish from forward Eric Hasley. The row team nearly doubled their lead in the 55th minute, but Walter Restrepo's 30-yard free kick hit off the crossbar. Barajo, and Barajo steps into it, goes right for goal, smashes it off the crossbar. The Cosmos pressed for the equalizer, and in the 62nd minute, Danny Satella put a low shot on target. But San Antonio goalkeeper David Bingham dived to his left to parry the shot away for the Cosmos' seventh corner. Ottawa Fury FC hosted Carolina Railhawks at Carleton University's Keith Harris Stadium, hungry for the club's first ever victory. The home team exploded with four goals, started by Felipe Davies' corner that found Oliver's head and the back of the net. The second half pace picked up, and Oliver returned the assist on Davies' 56th minute goal. There's another opportunity! 2-0 Ottawa! Ottawa kept the pressure on, and Carolina surrendered an own goal as Zach Shilovsky's attempted clearing header found the back of the net. Oliver, named the NASL Player of the Week for this effort, finished the scoring with another header in the 72nd minute. Saria, Saria with the cross, knocked down by Donatelli, another goal, Oliver, 4-0 Fury. Well, this is a stuff of dreams for the Ottawa Fury, my goodness. The Tampa Bay Rowdies welcome the Atlanta Silverbacks to Al Lang Stadium. The Silverbacks were looking for their first points of the season and jumped out quickly to lead in the seventh minute when Junior Sandoval smashed a volley into the top of the net. The Rowdies responded right back when last year's NASL Golden Ball winner Georgi Kristov equalized in the 15th minute with his first goal of the season. Trying to go to Georgie in there. Georgie's got a chance. He's got a chance, and he'll bury it for Tampa Bay. And we are even at one on the first goal of 2014 by last year's most valuable player, Georgie Ristov. Blair Gavin pushed Atlanta to the lead with a 26-minute free kick delivery, which was pushed home by Jaime Chavez for a 2-1 to -one Atlanta lead. Belize International and CONCACAF's leading scorer in the last World Cup qualifying, Dion McCauley, capped the Silverbacks scoring in the 51st minute with a smooth finish. Cross through, red shot go! And is it a goal? It is by Atlanta! The Strikers welcomed Expansion Club Indy 11 to a loud Lockhart Stadium for their first meeting ever, and Fort Lauderdale jumped on Indy in the seventh minute when Martin Nunez slid the ball past Indy keeper Christian Nix. Indy responded with a strong PK in the 26th minute, hammered low and right by Cleberson. Fafa Picot came on as a sub and made a quick impact when he headed a beautiful cross home. Marius Ebers calmly received a crossing pass and cut across the box to double the host's lead. 
Indy kept pressing and picked up a late goal from Honduran international defender Eric Norales on the last possession of the game.